Mario Kart Soup or Circuit? Nobody's favorite Mario Kart game. And to be totally fair to this game, even though the gameplay isn't the best, I do think they really made the most of the track selection here, with a ton of really unique themes that have never really been done by the Mario Kart series before or since. It sure beats the endless ghost valleys and Mario circuits we had to trudge through in Super. Yeah, I'm not ranking the bonus tracks from Super Mario Kart in this video. All of them are the exact same as they are in that game, except actively worse. I feel like most people automatically rank the track with the unfortunate, inexplicable screen shaking gimmick at the very bottom. But you know what? I'm gonna dare to be different and say that Broken Pier is even worse. Truly a miserable, borderline unplayable experience I would not wish upon anyone. And now we get to the usual bottom spot in everyone's rankings for this game, Snowland. I guess I'm glad the Booster Course Pass made an actually playable version of this course, because now people can remember it for that version instead of this piece of shit. Man, the Booster Course Pass really be out here picking some of the worst courses in this game and giving them the glow up of the century, huh? Plus, it's called Boo Lake. What did you do with the lake? Did they seriously forget to add the lake? They forgot to add the lake. See, this is why the remake is automatically better, because look, they membered the lake. Amazing. Mario Circuit. You know, the one they remade in 8 with the Ultra Hands. That's gotta be the only reason anyone remembers this course at all. Still, there's absolutely no reason this needed to be a Mario Circuit. You could have called this Tony Soprano Circuit and it still would have fit. It's honestly pretty raw that this is the only game in the series to feature Tony Soprano and he didn't even get his own circuit. Come the hell on, Nintendo. Step up your game and add him again as a character in the Booster Course Pass. I need to be able to get my Gabagool fix in Mario Kart again. Like, yep, it's a desert, and yep, that's a Yoshi Sphinx in the background. Okay, are we done here? A pretty standard layout and unbearably boring theme makes this a course I'm absolutely eager to never see return in a future Mario Kart game. Maybe add a train or something and then it will be cool. I feel like that's my suggestion for every desert themed course. Calamari Desert, my beloved, I can't wait to talk about you again. Peach! Peach Circuit! Yay! Yep, that sure is the extent of Peach Circuit's aesthetic. Boy oh boy, I can't wait to see how this list evolves over time. Where will Figure 8 Circuit and Toad Circuit rank? Tune in next time to find out who boy. Rainbow Road? More like Painbow Road, cause yeah, this one's kinda painful. I mean, it's raining. That's cool, right? I don't know, it's something, I guess. I'ma keep it real with you, Chiefs. I don't have it in me to rank the Bowser's castles separately. They all give me similar feelings when playing them, and their layout and background changes aren't enough for me to justify giving them wildly different slots in the ranking. These land, Gromit! Remember when the theme of this course was actually cool and unique? When it looked like you were on the moon, and there were little mice everywhere, and it was unlike any other course in the series, theming-wise? And then the Mario Kart 8 version kind of missed the point and made it aggressively desert-like while also removing all of its most unique attributes? Yeah, I still don't know how I feel about that choice. It's a good solid course and it makes me really hungry. Hungry for a remake that doesn't ditch the entire aesthetic for something notably worse! Ah, eh, whatever, at least this course didn't get the Sky Garden treatment. Good lord, what a disaster. Shy Guy Beach. Now I know what you're thinking. Shampopolarosis, you trashed this course so hard in your Mario Kart Wii ranking. It was your least favorite course in that game. How is it so high in this ranking? I don't know, honestly. It's just gooder here. As of the time I'm writing this, Riverside Park is the latest GBA addition to Mario Kart 8. And as solid as that version is, I definitely have to give props to the original for being one of my favorites in Super Circuit. You run into one and a shy guy will latch onto your cart, slowing you down and sucking up all your coins. What the heck is going on there? It's probably for the best that most of the imagery from the original version is gone from the tour remake, and most likely the upcoming Mario Kart 8 remake, because I can't really see them bringing back any other GBA track besides this. Everyone knows how good the Ribbon Road glow up in Mario Kart 8 is, but did you know that the original version of the course is also one of the prettiest and most creative courses in that game? Layout of this course is about as perfect as you can get for a flat 2.5D racing game, and the aesthetic and background music are equally perfect. There's simply no topping this course in my eyes. It's about as magical and ethereal of an experience as you can possibly get on the GBA, and I fully understand the hype surrounding it. 
And I also understand the frustration people have with how it was adapted into Tor and Mario Kart 8. Whoo boy, do I have some words about that. But we'll save that discussion for a later date. Anyway, yeah, we'll see what game I do next time. I have a lot of fun options to pick from, and also Super Mario Kart, so anything's possible.